Okay, here's the top light compact fluorescent bulb that I changed out earlier this week. And I said I was going to dissect it this weekend and do a ballast harvest. So here's the bulb. Set that there. Now to dissect that bulb, you either would want to use a Dremel or a hacksaw in my case, since I don't have a Dremel rotary tool. But in both cases, the idea is to cut along this seam and then separate the bulb part from the ballast part. It will take a while with a hacksaw and it will get messy so what you want to do is spread some old newspaper on your work area and then all you have to do is just grind away right after. So I'll start cutting and we'll see what happens. Okay so about 10 minutes with the hacksaw and a little pile of plastic sawdust later, I cut this open. There's the circuit board where the ballast is. There's the bulb itself and the wires that are connecting it. You just take a pair of toenail clippers work them in there and just cut the wire Cut the wires connecting the bulb. And there you go. Ballast harvest. Here are the wires that would connect to the bulb. Now you can actually run a full size linear fluorescent bulb with this. I've done it before with a brand new bulb which I've also dissected. If you want to test this you could hook it up to a 20 watt fluorescent bulb. Here's the bulb part itself. Four wires, two going to each electrode. Okay, so here's now the test. I connected some wires to it and ran it to this two-footer. So all I have to do is plug in the light socket and hopefully it'll work. And it does still work, huh? No flicker since this is an instant start, but it'll do. Oh. So as it turns out, this ballast circuit board I cut out of the top light compact fluorescent bulb is still good. I went and tested this part with my ohm meter, and as it turns out, the electrodes on this end, which is burnt, or it has actually failed open so it wouldn't start so I'll be putting this in my parts drawer and someday it'll probably find its way into another fluorescent light this part I'll be recycling make sure the pins are submerged in water for I'll give it 10 seconds. 